lights are on and they are off and here we go for race one another good start for Patrick Nick and his bloody oh, notch they, uh, upside boost they temporarily went three wide and then already two by two into in turn one actually it's turn two but oh yeah. sorry whoever that was that's Peter <laughs> spawning around there he and Anthony made contact there Nick is in the lead. Jeff, I think. Oh yeah, it was that. Yeah, it was Jeff. I don't know why I said Peter. All right, Nick in the lead. Patrick second. Julian third. Timo fourth. Andre fifth. So if anything, the confusion at the start helped some of the drivers out massively. Nearly spun it. <laughs> side by side, just after the corkscrew. Jeff on the inside, Paul on the outside, and Paul is going very wide there. Everyone stays on track. Well, did go a bit off track there, but not everyone's fine. Andre, in the meantime, gets a slowdown penalty. And here we go, four cars <laughs> across the line. Oh, it's funny. I like almost me, almost everyone through the line now, and only five of those cars had valid lap times. We do see Patrick and. Julian going side by side in turn two there. And for a split second there was a yellow flag brought out behind. Someone may have went a bit wide there. It goes that. It looks like there are like two groups forming now. One at the front consistent of four cars and we have about three to four cars at the back as well and everyone seems to be in the middle of the hand group just all over the place a bit Scott drops down to last place there he went off check there a bit the lead guys are increasing the gap Patrick is very close there to Nick. He's been racing very well so far. Both Julian and Peter are close to the cars ahead, but Julian ooh, from the inside to the outside just manages to save it. And behind them there's Peter going for the inside there. And Andre goes out wide, off track. There's Timo, looking for the opportunity now on Julian. These two have a long history of racing each other, no matter where they are on track. What is the context to it? They always seem to have a good battle. The front four is still close to each other it's gonna be hard to find a spot where they can overtake but behind them there's a bit of trouble there Jeff manages to get a place there because Andre goes off track there so Jeff is now up to sixth and the next car ahead of him is Peter the main one at the front Patrick is getting very close to Nick there. He's fencing a look on the outside, but doesn't go for it. There's Julian right behind as well. And then there's Timo as well. Julian and Patrick go side by side on the main street, or do they? No, looks like Nick Julian is just having a look and he's backing out of it. Now P2 and P3 are close to each other. Julian on the inside, Patrick on the outside. Into the turn. And they stay like that, but not much room is given between them. And Julian has a moment on the exit of the corner. 
but manages to save it up into second place but there's a bit of contact there between them oh Patrick pushed Julian a bit there and Timo also got involved there as well unfortunate situation but it does create a bit of confusion now as we are forming a new pack here with four cars Julian in third Peter in fourth and Patrick and Jeff are going side by side Jeff on the outside Patrick on the inside Jeff couldn't take the spot there but now comes Anthony side by side and through up into sixth Now uh, we have this fight between Patrick and Peter, and Patrick bumps into Peter. Four car train now for fourth place. Patrick in fourth, Peter in fifth, but oh, they touch behind. That was between Anthony and Jeff. All four of them are still on track, but looks like Peter is going away now a bit. Sorry, not Peter, Patrick. Looks like Patrick is extending the gap there a bit. They are also far behind now from the leaders. further and down in the field there's also Scott trying to gain the ground on on Paul there and Paul might just give him the opportunity of a lifetime as Paul goes over the curves there and off into the gravel quick replay there unlucky Oh, and that's not gonna help him whatsoever. 316 to the corkscrew. That would have been very cool to see if we could actually save it there. Uh, Paul just not having luck when it comes to racing recently. Rest in peace suspension. Yeah, it does look like that the suspension is completely gone on that car. Paul tries to get it into the pits there. And it just doesn't really seem to turn well. And it's gonna be a long time before that car is out on track again. Unfortunately, I've, I've got reminded of how long it takes to fix suspension in this game today and join them for a uh, Zandvoort race one of the ranked races with the F4 and uh, someone just did not start at the front so I ran into the back of that car someone else ran into my <laughs> car as well and uh, yeah I somehow still got a top 10 out of that race so I don't know, maybe it's due to half of the field crashing out. And speaking of crashing out, Peter is into the wall there at the corkscrew. And it jumps down to 8th place. Unlucky there. In the meantime, Timo is going side by side for the lead there. And Timo is through into first place. But Nick is not giving up. Has a look on both sides. Both of them go wide a bit there. From the looks of it, Timo has secured first place for the time being. 10 minutes left from this race. Nothing is fully finished yet. Not even Paul's car.
bit of a smaller battle in between Anthony and Jeff here. And Nick gets another slowdown penalty up ahead. So does Julian. No, I, for a second I thought they're gonna go side by side through the course blue. But looks like Anthony is holding up Jeff rather. And Julian is just getting the slowdown penalty. He's no stop kinda now. Which helps Patrick to get closer. And they are indeed getting closer. Despite the slowdowns, Julian is getting a lot closer to Nick now. The lap after the pass, the gap is about six to seven yeah, six to seven tenths between Timo and Nick. Jeff is still on the rear of Anthony's car. Anthony went a bit wider on that turn. They're gonna go side by side after the exit. And this is gonna be a very crucial corner. Will they both make it or not? They touch on the entry point. And Jeff is through into fifth place. Meanwhile, both Patrick and Nick gets a slowdown penalty. And Paul is out on track as we speak. He's about two laps down. But anything can happen in this remaining eight minutes. And here's a reminder Peter and Andre. Alright, Andre didn't do anything, but and Peter seems to be slid out there a bit. Right, Anthony and Jeff are still fighting here. Let's see if Anthony can fight back. Like on the inside. Jeff does not go for the apex there. He missed it twice in that turn. Andre gets a slowdown penalty behind them. Anthony has a look on the inside there. <coughs> but he's still behind. In the meantime, the gap between Nick and Timo is now more than one and a half seconds. Awful lot of concentration going on. <laughs> yeah. Timo gets a slow down in first place. And behind Anthony, Scott goes off track there on, onto the gravel. Timo gets another slowdown, and Nick also gets a slowdown. It's like they are trading Pokemon cards or something. Which one is more valuable, guys? <laughs> Half a second here, six tenths there. Nick seems to be the one who's collecting the most. Oh no, it's going to say I'm going to run out of fuel. Anthony might be low on fuel. Or maybe he says that to throw the others off. He's a bit wide on that turn. But... On the looks of it, he might be actually low on fuel. Gap seems to be increasing to like 7 tenths now. Eight tenths, nine tenths. Yeah, looks like he's battling out from this fight, which is a bit of a shame. But if you're low on fuel, you can't do much about it, unfortunately. You need to save some. Which is not what Julian needs to do now, as he's getting very, very close to Nick there.
Julian tries to get a better line on the final turn, but he cannot. Not only he had to save the car there, he also got a slowdown penalty, which is not what he needs now, as Patrick is closing on him. Ooh, hoo -hoo. That's close there. He almost... Kind of looked like he almost didn't make, didn't make the corner. It kind of looked like Nick had to give him a bit of a bit of a space there. Didn't really look like he, Nick was expecting Julian to make that make that turn. Oh, oh and they no. touch! <laughs> Julian and Nick touch there. And I know he kind of likes to say this, that I am saying it aloud, but... Oh, Nick has spun! <laughs> oh, he just took his suspension out. Oh, Timo! The one who was leading the race is out of the race! We have a new leader. <laughs> and if it's not for the crash between Julian and Nick, Nick would probably lead this race with Julian being a close second. But now Julian is down to fourth and he needs to fight to get back on the podium. Nick is in second, but more than seven seconds behind from P1. I haven't got enough fuel. It says fuel to add 0 0.3. You'll be fine. It says four minutes left. It says two and a half for me, but I'm not gonna disturb them with facts. I am full. And let's see the fight for second place here is still on. Jeff goes wide and Julian takes the opportunity, goes for it and he's through. Julian up to third place, Jeff down to fourth. Through the cocks, through they go. Oh, I nearly spun it. These three are still close to each other and they were throughout the whole race, kinda. Even if in different places. And Nick went a bit wide there and they almost touched with Julian again. And you're gonna have Jeff there to close up. Jeff went off in a bit weird way onto that onto that curve. It kind of looked like that the rear wanted to step out a bit. Could be just how there's like a bit of a connection problem here on my end, but I I don't know. In the meanwhile, Paul who tries to let the others by. Had a bit of a problem there, got a slow down penalty for that, but here we go. <laughs> Fight for the second place between Nick and Julian. They touch on the exit, Julian is through, but here comes Jeff as well. He's going side by side with Nick after the corkscrew. Nick stays third. There's 13 seconds down, the leader is just getting to the finish line. He's through, so we are extending this with one more lap. Nothing is decided for the podium, guys. Nothing is decided. 
Patrick may be ahead with 11 seconds to Julian. But this podium is not decided yet. Andre in 8th place gets a slow down penalty. He doesn't have to worry about it when to apply it. The only car behind him position wise is Paul. Who is trying to let... I'm short shifting, I don't think it's gonna work. Who is trying to let Patrick by. To lap him. I guess, but he's far ahead there. Oh, coughing and splattering. <laughs> Here we go, fight for third place on the podium between Nick and Jeff. Nick stays in the middle of the circuit, Jeff goes wide on the entry. To get a different line there, but will it be enough? Julian crosses the line second. And as a photo finish, Nick stays third. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> okay. Cheers, Scott. <laughs> no problem. Go, 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 go. Come on, it's yours. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and Anthony across the line fifth, thanks to Scott pushing him through. I was having trouble breaking, I'm getting cramp in my knee. 